Hi guys and thanks for tuning in. This video today is all about the times that I met and spent time with the late great Bob Zildjian. Now when I was 16, 17, I've mentioned before that I actually worked at a music shop in Bath, which is about half an hour from where I am now. And it was a shop called Assembly Music. And it was in Widcombe in Bath. And it stocked loads and loads of drums, cymbals, sticks, you know, percussion. It also did brass at one point, guitars and basses. And it was one of maybe three or four music shops in Bath at the time, along with Bath Music Centre and a few others. And it was owned by the amazing Steve Gardner, who thankfully took me under his wing. My mum went in there when I was just about to leave school, saying, Steve, you know, would you take Rob on as a tea boy or whatever? And he said yes, because he knew my dad, because obviously we know my dad was a, a drummer. If you didn't know, he was a, a busy gigging drummer around the Bath and Bristol area in the UK, which is where I'm from, which is in the southwest. And he said, yes, of course. Uh, and she said there was this YTS scheme. And he said, yes, I'll look into it. And thankfully, he took me on. So I started working there Monday to Saturday in the shop. And Nigel, one of the wonderful um, other guys who worked there, who was brilliant, um, showed me how to string a guitar and uh, also look at the neck to make sure it was true and so on. So I did some of that in the, in the, the room at the back which wasn't what I wanted to do, but you know, I realized I had to do a few things to move forward because what I really wanted to do was to move to their warehouse section. Now, the, when I say this, they had a warehouse on the, the London Road, um, no, the Lower Bristol Road, sorry, in Bath, um, or upper, whichever which way you go to it, <laughs> but it was in a, an area called Windsor Bridge, which was not surprisingly near Windsor Bridge, um, and they had a unit there, and it wasn't to stock stuff for the shop, this was stuff that was the special stuff that I wanted to get to. This was because Steve had brought in a German company, um, drum company called Sonor. He had been importing them for years and eventually he took on the distribution for the UK. So they were all kept out of the Windsor Bridge. And then I joined, as I say, about 86, 87. And maybe a year later, they started stocking uh, Sabian cymbals, which were, of course, made by the amazing Robert Zildjian. And uh, Steve used to say to me, he used to say, um, you know, one day Bob will come over and you can meet Bob Zildjian and all this business. And I was like, oh my goodness, that's going to be amazing. It's like royalty, you know. So anyway, I did all my, my, my tenure in the shop. And then eventually they said, look, we need you to go out and help at the warehouse because Ken, uh, who works out there, Ken Dewar, who's a good friend of mine still to this day, um, and he was like a big brother and still is really, to be honest, even though we're a bit older. He's just like an older big brother. Um, he said, you know, we need some help. So go out and help Ken and Simon Gardner, Steve's son was working there. Um, there was an office up there and everything. But before the office was built up there, it was just a warehouse. So we used to go out there and have fun alive, basically, obviously shipping loads of drums around the UK and stuff. And also to some, you know, endorsers would come down. We'd pick them up at the train station or Steve would. And then they'd bring them to the warehouse. Um, and there was drummers like Udo Darman, uh, Blair Cunningham I met. Um, oh, I can't remember. There's so so many that come out to uh, the warehouse to try symbols out. I think Toll Bryant came up at one point as well. Um, hi, Toll, by the way. Um, yeah, loads of people. Uh, I, I can never remember these things when I start. I think when I'm sat over there, I'll remember. But anyway, so... Um, I'd sit and I'd watch Ken deal with the, the customers, if you like, the endorsers, show them how to select, select symbols and all those kind of things. You know, and, and I eventually stayed at the warehouse the whole time. I'd sometimes go out just a few days to help and then I was there all of the time. So thankfully I didn't have to stay in the shop because I wasn't the world's greatest, um, you know, salesman. I didn't really enjoy that side of the, the whole thing. Anyway, so I'm working at the warehouse. I'm really happy. We can play music in there all day. So we're listening to Radio 1 all day. Simon Bates, our tune would be on. We'd stop and have some sandwiches listening to that. And then we'd crack back on and stuff. Anyway, good days. <laughs> we digress from the story. And one day, um, they said we're going to build this symbol safe. So we had, in the end, two symbol safes, one each side of the warehouse. Um, full of symbols, amazing. All of the, you know... Um, symbol range i can't remember the different sabian symbol ranges now i just remember that i really like the sound control 
symbols. I thought they were great. So, of course, even at that time, you know, I, I was not endorsed by anyone. I wasn't a professional. So, of course, I was using Sabian symbols because I could get them from the warehouse. And Sound Control, I think, were my favourite. I think they did AAs and HH. I think back in the day, but they were they were very thin, but they broke very easily. But they were amazing sounding cymbals, just just beautiful. Anyway, then one day, um, Steve says Bob's coming over, Bob Zildjian, um, and he wants to meet you. And it, Steve had told me that he uh, had mentioned my name a few times when he was on the phone to to Bob, and you know Bob would say, "Hey, I want to come and meet Rob," you know, and Robert. I suppose he called me, um, and uh, you know I want to spend some time with him, you know, see what he's. Uh, saying to our endorsers about the symbols, you know, I should spend some time, you know, with this guy, you know, and uh, I was like, really? <laughs> oh my God, Bob Zildjian spending, you know, I've got to spend an afternoon with Bob Zildjian looking at symbols, my God, I'm not going to make it, you know, this is too much. So Steve said, it'd be fine, you know, it'd be fine, he just wants to come meet you and welcome you to the company and all that business, you know, because Bob was lovely, he was very hands-on. Anyway, this one day he arrives and he's at the shop, in, in the shop assembly music and we drive back from the warehouse in the trusty Toyota van that we had. Uh, and we go in and we meet him and I say something stupid. I can't remember what I said, something daft when I shook his hand. It was all a bit like, I remember, I was, uh, remember I was only 17 or 18 or something, you know, just quite young still, I think, um, to be meeting somebody like that. And I was quite shy anyway, so that didn't help. So sure enough, we have lunch with him. Um, and then uh, he says, right, okay, we're gonna, settle in you know I'm going to go back to the hotel and tomorrow I'm going to come out and we're going to do the the symbol thing symbol thing so the next day sure enough he comes to the warehouse and uh, we go into the symbol vaults and I spent the next sort of hour or two with Bob talking about the symbols um, he explained what I sh you know what I should and shouldn't say to endorsers you know how to um, how to find out very quickly what a drummer needs from the sound by asking the right questions and then selecting as as he or she is talking selecting the ranges you think they should try you know some wild cards as well to steer them away from certain things and as obviously you know I'm not going to go into the whole thing that he told me because that's locked in here and that's private but I just thought this was a story that I've never really in any of my interviews I've done I've not really shared this with anyone because it's never really come up and I was talking to um Gary Astridge the other day, uh, Ringo Starr's drum curator, and the, the, the story suddenly came back, um, and I shared it with him, and he was like, wow, that's like, a, that's like a crazy story, man, you've spent time, you've been, you know, with the chosen symbol maker, you know, you're like a chosen one, you've spent time with the man, and uh, I've been sat on it for a few weeks, and I thought, hey, why don't I just do a little talky bit to camera, so unfortunately, I'm not here to give away some of those secrets, um, you know, unless you pay me lots of money. <laughs> but yeah, um, I just wanted to share the experience with you really because it's something that, as I say, I haven't really spoken about very often and I'm very proud of the fact that I met Bob Zildjian and I considered him a bit of a friend as well as obviously my boss <laughs> in some ways. And the fact that he would always ask Steve at the shop, how's Rob doing? Is Rob okay? You know, and you know, is he uh, shifting money symbols and is he helping the endorsers and you know, and all that. So all of that knowledge that he gave me in those few hours in his presence. And of course, I met him some other times at trade shows, and that was, hi, Rob, you know, how you doing? And it was all cool, but I'll never forget that time I spent with him, you know, going through the symbols, and he was telling me how they were made, this, that, and the other, and he, he, the secret alloys and all this kind of business, which, again, is just locked in here, never to come out. Um, but I thought it, it was worth sharing with you guys, and... Um, so there, there we go. Yes, Bob. I met Bob Zildjian. <laughs> um, so if you want to ask me any questions, as I say, I'm not going to give away any kind of trade secrets or anything. You know, that's locked in here. But when you listen to my um, symbols that I use, I suppose, if you watch any of my clips um, with the Vulcan symbols that I've been endorsing for the last three or four years now, um, you'll hear some of the tones that I'm using there and who's to say that Bob isn't in there when I make my choices. So, yes. But if you have any questions about the, the meat or anything, as I say, I'm not going to give anything away, then please put them in the comments below. Let me know if you met Bob and your experiences with uh, Bob Zildjian and the Sabian Company, who obviously make fantastic symbols, even still to this day, in Bob's honour. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Take care, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon.